delete it from the program so the first scene is not on the program and after that you can follow whenever y'all are ready. Hi, Susanna Fleck. Hello, my name is Edward Dennis. <laughs> You've been playing my records? Yeah, so? Didn't I tell you the procedure? Yes, you told me all about it, Shrevi. They have to be in alphabetical order. And what else? And they have to be filed according to year, alphabetically and according to year, okay? And what else? James Brown, filed in the J's instead of the B's. And to top it off, you put him with the rock and roll section instead of the R&B section? How could you do something like that? Because it's so complicated. Every time I pull out a record, there's a whole procedure I have to go through. I just want to listen to music, that's all. Is it too much to ask that my records be put in a certain category? You know, R&B with R&B and rock and roll with rock and roll? You wouldn't put Charlie Parker with rock and roll, would ya? Would ya? I don't know. Who's Charlie Parker? <laughs> jazz! Jazz, jazz! What are you getting so crazy about? It's only music. It's no big deal. It is. It's important to me. Don't you understand that? Why do you always yell at me? I never see you yell at any of your friends. Take a record. What? Just hit a record. All right. Now tell me who's on the hit side. Dream by the Everly Brothers. All right, now, ask me who's on the flip side. Why? Just ask me. Who's on the flip side? Bird Dog, Everly Brothers. 1955. Yeah. See? You never asked me anything like that. Because it's not important. It is! Every one of these records means something to me. What label? A producer? Who's copying on whose style? And who's expanding on it? You never asked me about any of those kind of things. Shrevy, who cares? I do. Do you understand that every one of these records brings back a important part of my life? met you at Modell's sister's high school graduation party in 1956. Ain't that a shame was playing as I walked in the door. 